Hi everyone, welcome to the QA Ops channel. I'm Rafael Lima, and today you're going to keep working in our CLI menu. Right, so last video we worked on creating the menu for the QA Ops channel, uh, and now we're going to develop a little bit more. All right, so if you haven't subscribed, please do so, hit the bell to receive notifications of my next videos. Uh, and I'm also going to be posting the links for, for the videos, for the previous videos, right? So you can keep it up. So what we have so far is, uh, we have the, the, a simple menu, right? So we have BB QA Ops and you have a list of the repositories and you have only the show like if i do show it's going to show the menu if i do not do show it's going to show in any way so you know what what are the aliases that you need to uh, use so now we need to do the open and the without open that they do the same thing as the open uh, Cool. So what we're going to do is now uh, in, in the previous video, I showed you how to create the menu and I showed you how to do this code and I explained this code and how you can load the content from the repo. So this is the load conf. I explained how this works and this code, right? So I'm going to post the, the video so you can watch that. And without further ado, let's uh, do the open. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do open and I'm already going to close that case. And what I'm going to do first, I'm going to, uh, this is the first parameter, parameter. So the QA ops, this is the first one and whatever I pass now is going to be the second. So I'm going to call it alias and I'm going to receive as the second parameter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do log. So I can log when I'm debugging. And I see alias given and I alias. So if I'm debugging and I, I, I want to know what is the, what was the alias that was given to me. And now I need to choose what I'm going to do here, right? So I'm going to do a dash n to see if a thing exists, a string exists, right? So and the dash n that I'm going to do is on the repos alias so pretty much what i'm doing here is here so pretty much what i'm doing here i'm going here and seeing if these aliases exist, exist right so repos alias and if ex if this string exists right if the content exists uh what i'm going to do i'm going to open open file and i'm going to open this right if it does not exist i'm going to show all right so in this open file this is from the cli itself it's open file is going to check if you are on os sheets or mac os is going to do open if you are not it's going to do this other open for a unix so that's why i'm using this one so now what i'm what i'm do i'm going to do i'm going to say qa ops open docs and you open the doc. QA ops open cucumber and you op it open the repository for the cucumber. I can also uh, do a, also a, a instructions to uh, open in incognito mode if I want to, right? Great. So now I have the, the, uh, the, the open working, but now I want to do this as well, right? So, uh, oh, and if the person passes something that it does not exist, something is going to say, oh, yeah, this is the ones that are not going to do anything. It's going to list the repository. It's basically saying these are the valid ones. Insert a valid one. Right. So now we are going to do the without open. Basically, what I'm what I'm going to do, I'm going to add an asterisk because the asterisk is for anything except these two. Whatever else is going to fall into the asterisk, which is a default option. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to also get the alias here. However, I'm going to uh, get the alias one, right? Because uh, the parameter one, because these are the parameter one, see? All right, so these are the ones. So in case, uh, 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 
So I'm now I need to validate, right? Because the person might not send anything like this is empty. The parameter one, it's already empty, right? The open is the parameter one. So if the person does that, what, what I'm going to do? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do an, a validation, which is dash Z for empty string. So if the alias is empty, that meaning the person did not do, did not send anything, did not, not uh, wrote anything, I can just return. Don't need to do anything, just return, right? And I'm going to, and if the person passes something, then I'm going to repeat this. Right? So if the person press something, doesn't pass anything, just return. And if the person passes something, then validate this, right? Do the same thing. So, so the first condition is empty string. So that's it. Return. Don't do anything, right? Just, uh, and if the person passes something, so QAOPS docs is going to open docs. And if the person passes something that does not exist in my list, it's just going to show because it's doing this validation, which is the same that we did, right? Uh, so, Rafael, why this is helpful, right? So now you have a list, you have a CLI with a list of uh, all URLs in your project. Uh, a new person, a new joiner comes in and you, you don't have to send a, like a documentation with all the links or show the person. Uh, you already have any, something that say, hey, this is our CLI. Everything that you need for you to start is there. Take a look, ask me if you have any questions, right? If the person wants to uh, add to their favorites, it's up to them. Uh, however, you already have everything there that the project's going to be using and updating, right? So that's very useful. Uh, we're going to see later that I can add a command to download all of the repositories. I can say uh, with a simple command, download every repos repository in my project. Uh, it doesn't make much sense if you have only one repository. However, if you have three, four, five repositories, the person is going to have to git clone five repositories, right? Uh, or even more, maybe 10. With a simple CLI, you can, with a single command, download all repositories and easily can save a couple of minutes, right? So that's it, that, that, that's the thing, right? Saving minutes so you can use your time with more meaningful things. Uh, cool. So that's what I wanted to show you. If you like it, give the thumbs up. And it's really important that you do because that's how the channel can keep growing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive notifications of my next videos. And I'm going to see you on the next video.